Hej, välkommen min video. Um, idag jag finished min bok. Det är var. Why do I keep forgetting the basic words? Um, bra, väldigt bra, delicious. It was fantastic. Uh, fem stars. But now I actually need to do some Swedish before I have to go to work today at four. So it is currently 11 o'clock. So 11 and 12, I'm going to do Swedish. And then at one o'clock, I'm going to work out, lift some weights. Ooh, ooh. And I'm actually, I think, going to change. I'm going to try and change up my learning style for Swedish. After five days, I still want to do link today. I need to do review memorize words. Men, I'm going to start doing some stuff on my checklist. I'm going to practice the word order for Swedish. That's what I'm going to try and focus on today is word order. Um, and so I don't know how much progress I'm going to actually like, make showing, but word order is important. And I know it's an SVO, subject, verb, object, but it does change a little bit when you do questions and negative, negative sentences. So I want to try and see if I can find some resources on learning that. So come along with me. I found this video. It is sent Swedish sentence structure in English because he speaks Swedish. And this is his channel, Peter SFI. Um, and I mean, why did I know about this later? Like it, it seems like pretty good. Dude my mind expanding but look at this so this is kind of like he has this graph and i wrote it down and i regret writing it this way because it didn't fit so then i had to expand it but man there is so much information up here so maybe i need to tear this page out because why 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 would i keep this and rewrite it sideways but man he has this like this thing, a table, and he's like explaining like you could, this is like a subject or you can make it adverbial, that adverbial, or the adverbial can go right here, and then if it goes here, your subject goes here, and this is so freaking fantastic. I love this, and I don't know, it's just like, it's just like, what? Vad? Vad do? Because you don't just use vad, you know, so like, it's just like, Okay, so before I go work out, because it's 12.50, um, that guy, he only has five videos in English and it hurts because he's such a good ninja. <laughs> he doesn't speak Swedish well enough at all to watch his Swedish grammar videos. So, uh, man, boom, look at that. It's a table with stuff on it. And then I actually used this page as well. I just took it out to take notes like as the video was playing so that I could like make them look pretty later, you know? So I'll have to do that later because I wasn't really sure where I wanted to add them. So that's why they're on this other piece of paper. But sats adverbia he talked about, which is mostly inte, which is used for not and don't. So it's not like your your inte which i thought like your means do or does um but it does not it's not your inte it's just inte and that's used in don't and conche which means maybe is also a sats adverbial um like when you need like a helper verb which <laughs> that takes me back to eighth grade maybe i don't know i don't know when i learned about helper verbs but it takes me back okay um to a time I don't remember, uh, but when you use a helper verb, it goes in verb one's location, as you guys can see, I underlined them, and then the actual verb goes in verb two's location, so that is so stinking cool, and then we talked about um, reflexive, no, not reflexive pronouns, sorry, reflex, no, yeah, reflexive pronouns, yeah, 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 reflexive pronouns, and how they end up going in verb two's locale, location, uh, ligir, um, and then verb one is the verb, you know, so, like, some verbs need a reflexive pronoun, so, like, ya lager may, Pusangen, 
I hadn't heard of two of those words, so I'm sorry if that was terrible. Um, but like, that is, I put myself to bed, or I put myself into bed. Something that doesn't sound right in English, but obviously I don't remember the actual word for word translation. Um, and yaska lagame pu san yen is I will put myself into bed, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's that. And then I kind of wish he had more examples on prepositions object, but he only had the one, which is just me familia or familien, familien, um, familia Spanish. <laughs> uh, so I wish he had a little bit more on that. But this video, those two videos were so helpful. I will leave them linked in the description box and I've added them to my Swedish learning playlist, which I do eventually plan to like make public. It's not public right now, it's just private. And I just save all the videos I want for that. Uh, I want to look at into that playlist. But I will leave his channel and these two videos linked down below because they were very, very helpful. And I think that like with this built, this, this bottom structure um, and frame, I can like find some actual more like resources on the internet and read them. And that will kind of like help build. And maybe I can find some example problems. I'm still looking for my worksheets, y'all. I'm sorry, but I am. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go work out now. I don't know what I'm going to watch. I like to watch something when I work out, not listen to music. So, yeah, but that was so helpful. I love that dude's video so much. And they're linked down below. If you're learning Swedish and you're interested, they're down there. I found some practice problems, so let's see how these go. This is my second submission. The first submission I missed every single question statement because, well, the word order wasn't the same. But I did pull out my little chart from yesterday because um, today is day seven, FYI. Um, and I put that one in order. So that chart, it works. It works like we all knew. Okay, so it is day number seven in this challenge, which is kind of like crazy. Um... But it feels kind of weird to have spent the first five days of this challenge, like go, 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 learning so many new words, aka links that I learned 200, but, um, and then just spending days six and seven, like stop and just reviewing the words I've already learned and working on grammar. It's just, it feels weird to have been like, Go, 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 and then full stop. I, I think it's a little weird. It is for me personally. But also, this is important. I know some people think that like you'll learn grammar naturally. But I don't know if I want to learn it naturally. I want to be able to like use it when I first start speaking. Even if I'm not using it like correct exactly, I still want to ha I have studied it. And... I'm really glad that I took like a little break when it came to learning new words and new things just to kind of like focus on grammar and word order and be, make it to where I can actually speak Swedish and not sound like a stupid idiot. I still kind of do because my accent is uh, inte bra. Men, we work on that next. Like that's like the next step. You know, first step is to get sentence order down so... I'm not super bad at it, and then we can work on accent. You know what I mean? I don't want to have like a good, perfect Swedish accent and then not be able to put the words in the correct order. So, priorities, priorities. But I just went through, and as you guys can see, all of the notes that were on this page that I just kind of took while watching the video, I have made pretty. Uh, yes, look at that. Look at that. Uh, um, yeah, and this kind of just like explains, this part right here explains the word order for, um, this, and then, um, this is question word order. So, I just did a little bit of information on the internet for this, um, I mean, this kind of helps me out, and then this is pretty, it's pretty, like, self-explanatory when you go through and do some research on it. I think it's just going to be, like, getting used to the word order and actually using it correctly. That's going to be the hard part. 
But then, since I have finally finished doing that, I finally get to do this. Are you guys ready? Word order? Crap, hold on, I need something to hold this down. Okay, word order? Boop! I did it! It's not mastered, but I did research on it, and that's all that matters. Now, um, what did I want to do today that wasn't just finishing up what I was focusing on yesterday? Well, I want to do memorize review and link review, and then I also want to do some new lessons in link. I started the second beginner course, which is like restaurants, so I just want to do a little bit more on that. And um, more importantly, I want to work on complete Swedish number two. I want to sit in front of my fireplace today and um, complete the practice problems for complete Swedish number two. So it is 11 o'clock and I think I might do that. Fill up some tea. I've been putting tea in here since I went and met up with Megan. Um, speaking of which, if you're wondering how Megan's doing, she has the flu. Um, yeah, she texted me on the 6th and was like, hey, if you get sick, I'm sorry, because I've come down with something. And then today she's like, I think I've got the flu. So hopefully I don't get sick and hopefully she gets better. And hopefully like this doesn't like, you know, like taint her progress. I'm not expecting her to practice while she's like throwing up. Like she's like barfing up and she's like, the word for barf in Korean. And, like it's like regurgitating. <laughs> Sorry, that was not a funny joke. Um, but hopefully, you know, she can get better and then she can also like continue learning in Korean. Um, but men, yeah, 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 iskar, studera, studera, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Min slack är ganska liten. Jag har egna farbror eller morbror, men min faster har två barn, så jag har två kusiner. Är du gift? Nej, jag är sambo. Min pojkvän heter Marco och kommer från Italien. Okay, now they want me to count 20 in Swedish forwards and backwards, so let's see how this goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I thought it was 11, but it's 11. That's what this book says is 11. Um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 9, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, sorry, I was about to say few, so that's not right, 4, 3, 12, we always, this book says you always use at when you're counting with no like animal by you. So, okay. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, in all honesty. So, I'm getting ready to go work out for the day and then bundle into warmer clothes because even though this fireplace is on I'm still really freaking cold um that's not a very good sign uh but I did watch one episode of Hey Ninja and apparently two of these words don't exist at least my translator Babla B-A-B dot L-A doesn't have them on there so so uh, I have Yuldo which is oh yes I believe that's how you pronounce it um uh short which is high, um, and then I wanted to know part of Georgie's phrase because Georgie says it every time she turns into a ninja, uh, and that is uh, gong, gong, which means time. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, these I feel like 
hurt and gong are more good words no I don't I don't really know okay guys um but yeah I did that and this episode was a little bit more ridiculous and saying that for a show where these kids go into their imagination yeah I get that sounds ridiculous I told her I tried to get it all together for last week because I thought when the last day that all three of us would have worked together would have been last Thursday. <laughs> Hey Aloha, so it is 8.30 on the 9th of October, so we've missed a few days. Yesterday was the 8th, and I worked 8.30 to 5. Um, oh, seriously, I'm on my really hot, <laughs> um, my really hot computer. But I came home, and I felt sick, which was concerning because Megan is sick, and we just hung out a few days ago. Um, but it was just like a really bad headache and a really, really stuffed up nose and a little bit of body aches. Don't worry, I feel better today. I slept for like 12 hours yesterday, <laughs> so I'm good. Um, but that of course, like I wasn't in the mood to really study Swedish. I finished my uh, complete Swedish lesson number two practice. I just had the last couple practice and test yourself problems to do because I didn't get to do them on Friday. And then, um, that was it. Really, that was really it. I might have reviewed my link words, you know. But today was 1 to 5, and I really had trouble just getting started today. Not with learning Swedish, but the day in general. Um, I didn't do Swedish until I got home and after I'd eaten, and after I watched a YouTube video, <laughs> a few. And then I did Swedish, and I worked on a video for my other channel that I've been working on for months. And I need to get it up, because I saw somebody talking about the same idea as me, and I want to be the original. Because um, I can't in good conscience say original idea when it's not, actually, if I see somebody else. So I need to get that up. So I worked on that a little bit, but I wasn't really in the mood. Um... But yeah, so I'm sorry the last few days I've kind of just sucked. Um, I've just been tired. I didn't feel very good. I worked and um, brought home a lot of books to read. So we'll see when I get those in. Uh, but yeah, sorry for the bad vlogging. And I don't really know how to say, what to say, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. I work 12 to 4 tomorrow, so smack that in the middle of the day. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah. Tak su meka for tita. I learned tita today, which T I T T A, which means to watch. So, tak su meka for tita. Oh, ya hope. Do ye lar? Is that what it is? I'm trying to like picture the sentence structure in my head and I'm having trouble. Um,. Yeah, I'll scale day. Oh, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this video so I can.